Well, good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good one so far. Yeah, we got some snow last night, and it, the wind kind of blew it around a little bit. Got to get rid of some of this snow here at the shop. We got some feeding to do. We got some bedding to do. He's running. Tractor and sp he's all running, warming up good because it wasn't plugged in. This guy's percolating. He was in the shop, but he wasn't plugged in. But he did start. He was in the shop. My shop's not exactly heated. I do have insulation in the front half on the walls, but the ceiling's open still, basically. Um, so, yeah. But it, it does help just having them inside here, that's for sure. So, once we get all this feeding and bedding stuff done, then I'm going to see about attacking this sucker and the wife were and I were talking she wants me to try doing that thing without actually pulling the loader off I disagree but we may give it a whirl and see what happens <coughs> excuse me but until then like I said we've got bedding to do we've got feeding to do so let's get that stuff done first I am Welder? <laughs> what the fuck? What's that all about? <coughs> What's broken? I have a frozen rope. Oh, yeah. I didn't put a. I didn't put a chain on this gate. She's bitching about the rope. <sighs> this rope, I and mean, she didn't tie it very good. It's pretty loose, babe. Warm it up. I'll give you some hints. <laughs> we got, uh, so that pen is now bedded. Good enough for these few animals. They're going to go and play in it and spread it around. It's a little lumpy, heavy in spots. But So this is all forked up. We're going to take the rest of that bale that's in that processor out to the cows in the pasture. But we're going to run out there with both tractors. So back in a bit. Well, I'm out here. I just moved all them bunks because they were all filled up with snow inside and out, of course. And there's CP. She's pumping the straw out. So we'll get everything done here shortly, I'm sure. It won't take very long here with both of us running. She's only got one more bale to put down and then she's done. And me, I've got probably another, well, I brought two bucket loads out so far. I've got at least three, maybe four more before all those bunks are filled up. I gave them half a turn so they don't catch as much as much uh, snow when the wind blows. It'll, our general direction is west-northwest. <clears throat> so this way the snow doesn't build up around them so bad. But anywho's, we're gonna continue on, continue on. Well, there we go. All of these guys are filled up. Just about six bucket loads by the time I got everything filled up really good. And out there, everything is bedded down really good. So two and a half bales almost out there. So they're set to go for a little while. Yahoo! Alrighty, well boy does he look different without a loader on him, eh guys? Look at this. He's dirty as all hell, but yeah, he looks really different without a loader on him. And there's the loader. Will your air compressor work in this weather? Uh, yeah, to some extent it'll work. Now what's going on in here is the pin seized up inside here. And that's why it started rubbing hard on the framework on the outside. It had to rotate there. So I think it's going to be a bit of a beehive, biosh, but we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, yeah. But the rest of these all look actually pretty decent. Mm, so 
Our pins all look okay throughout the rest of her. We'll run some grease in and check them out and stuff like that. And so getting this off isn't really all that bad except it's a two-piece operation. That's the lock system right there. And then you lock your hydraulic out. I don't know why it's only a lock on this one, but you lock that out. You re release your pressure a little bit. And then you can disconnect everything. So, anyways, let's get at her and see if we can do some hammering on that sucker to break it all free and make it make it work for us. Alrighty, guys. So, got the pin out. It's not in the very best of condition by any means. This part right here, uh... That's the part that was rubbing on the outside and slopped that out really bad. The other side was rubbing a little bit and it is a little tiny bit slopped where's the new pin I'll show you. But not a heck of a lot really. So there's a hint of play in there but not bad. I think, I think we can save that. I'm going to have to get the grinder and grind that lip off there on both sides so now on this side we've got quite a bit of play up there you can see that right like see the play in there so what I've done I hunted around and I I found this now this is seamed if it was seamless it would slide right over top and it would be a nice snug fit and that is almost the exact size I friggin need see that but the hole isn't perfectly round it's oval so I need to take some off the top edge and some off the bottom edge and then I could weld that piece of piping in there and it would act as my shim and then and then this would go in just nice or I can cut it and shim it on two sides, either either. So, but we did get the pin out, so now we just gotta play with that and get it in back in there and go from there. Back in a bit. Alrighty guys, so uh, got the pin out, obviously. You can see the hole's not there. I think I showed you that earlier. So right now I got this emery type cloth. And this is a rough grit, so I'm just working at cleaning the inner hole to that framework there where the pin goes through and where the bushings have to go into place. Just working it around by hand actually, uh, pretty much got it. There's one spot right here towards the bottom edge where it's slopped out a little bit, but the bushing should take that up. And I've got another hunk of bushing that I made right here, this little guy. So he goes in on this edge up here once that pin comes through that's where that's gonna fit in right there just like that to take up the slop on this side and we'll push it all the way back to this side when the bushing is in there this pin is not supposed to move uh, it rotates on this on this part of the loader not on here and it was doing the opposite so anyways Let's get our other bushing and see if we can get that sucker in there. So for those of you that might not know, this is what the bushing looks like. And there's a little slit in it right here. You have to overlap that. Me and my one finger. So you overlap it, push the one side in and have the other side come over like this. Otherwise, it won't fit in the hole. And 
And then once it's in, then you can uh, work it into position on the inside and it'll expand back out. So I'm just going to grab my hammer and I'll get it, tap it in there and I'll bring you guys back once I got it in position. But generally, that's what it'll look like going in. And there it fell out. So I will get it in there. Back in a bit. Okay. So our pin is in right there. Right there. And where did I put that piece? Uh oh, there it is. Oh. Now we gotta get this piece in there. I gotta get that piece in there because it's really sloppy here, right? So we will work this thing around a little bit. Bar! If I can, there it is. Can you hand me that piece? Can I reach it? I can't quite reach it. No, no, really? yes. I might need the hammer, babe. Give me the bar. Just like that, I'll get that in there all the way. And once that's in all the way, here, take the bar. Then, these two pieces go in. And they thread into this hole here. They just go in like that. And then basically that's like a lock to hold that pin stable. So we'll get that piece in there all the way and we'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, so I took the welder, I got that piece in there. And then I took the welder and I welded it in place and then we ground it off so it's basically flush and now we're going to reassemble all my pieces I had that in there so that we don't get any spatter on the inside of the threaded holes or anything so we'll grab our other piece And that just goes in like that. And then, ah, power wrench. And you just suck him in there good. That'd be a piece of shit wrench. There, and that's that one. So now the grease gun and we grease her up. That side's done. Later guys. Alrighty guys. So just got back to the shop here. We stopped and went and had some lunch. Um, but anyway, so anybody wondering these pins even the old ones the grease nipples are set inside the pin so even if I was to hit it on the outside edge here the nipple is still protected because it's countersunk inside the friggin pin that's how these are the only ones that aren't is this one right here and that's for the hydraulic lift ram it's mounted underneath right there same as that side um, the one in the front half same as the rest right but just got to do a little bit more greasing on this sucker on this side down here the grease was too fucking cold so that's why we quit and went for lunch and I had a fire going and the fan blowing and to warm it up in this gun and we should be good to go now so I'm gonna finish uh, greasing her up and then we're gonna get this sucker back on the tractor and I'll bring you guys back at that time all 
Alrighty guys, so yeah, we're in the cab here. I'm just driving it up, just drove it up really. So I'm gonna blow it up a little bit. So you see there's a little bit of a hook right there. And just inside that frame that you can see a little bit of a pin across, right? Right there's that pin and this saddle right here. So we gotta get inside and that pin has to flip over and fit into that saddle. So let's see what happens as we pull ahead. We may end up having to uh, hook the hydraulics a little bit. And uh, seeing how this all shakes down. She should push up a little bit. There it is. And there it is. Both of them. Just like that. Now we hook our hydraulics and we lift it and then we put our locks in place. Simple as that. Let's get her done. Alrighty guys, so we got her all hooked up here. I went and I numbered the hoses. One, two, three, four. And then here. That way you don't, there's no mistaking. I lifted it up and down. I tilted up and down. Everything is good that way. Uh, we got this in. And I put some tape on there, so hopefully that'll work. We don't have too many issues there. Everything is greased. Pull this pin. And then this just comes up like that. And there's this little thing right here. That goes in there. And that's basically the catch for like that, right? Yeah. Grease up there. Put the safety in. Like so. And now for our locks. So with our locks, I slide the suckers in. That one goes there. Drop the wife's phone that she just literally just got like three days ago because she broke her other one. It's on the inside. She's checking tire pressures, guys. pins all the way in. So then I just got to get my wrench, tighten that up right there. And that'll hold that in place. Same thing on the other side. And we're ready to rock and roll. We'll bring you back after. Alrighty. Everything. And everything seems to be working nice and it's tight. At least it's a fuck of a lot tighter than it was. How's that sound? Mm, so I will push a little bit of snow with her maybe. Getting close to choring time here. But we don't need the tractor for choring. I will work at pushing some snow and stuff with it probably tomorrow. Uh... Tomorrow we also got to hook up the big white Dodge to the gooseneck trailer, run to Regina, load the gooseneck trailer, because Monday we got to be in Saskatoon with her nice and early. Well, not super early, but try and be in Toontown by 10 o'clock. So that's early enough. That means I'm leaving here at 7-ish, uh, eh, so not so bad. Anyway, let's get our buns inside and find out what CP's doing. I'm sure she's ready to quit for the day. When I said I bumped her phone and dropped it on the floor in the shop there. Yeah, guess what? Yeah, we fucked it up. I fucked it. 
I broke the corner of the freaking face screen on it. Son of a bitch. What are you doing? Throwing it out? Must have been some garbage in that bucket. Gotta sweep this floor out. You mad at me? No. No? I didn't do it on purpose. I know. Fucking cell phones, eh? Piece of shit. What are you doing? Fucking cleaning. This is Tristan's shit. It's you just graduate. You need to talk to him before you graduate this. Seriously. So just leave it alone. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just leave this stuff alone until he gets back and then we'll deal with it. Is that fucked? Why do you got no hunting signs over there? Ask your son. Oh, fuck. Why is... They must be his. These are his signs. And you're just freaking taking shit and making a mess. See? Now you really screwed it. <laughs> Babe, you want some help? There you go. Because when you help me break stuff. No. I didn't break your phone when I was helping you. I didn't. I broke your phone when I bumped the pail that you had your phone sitting on the very edge. Okay. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're not we're not gonna do a video no more today. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Because I don't want a video of my wife kicking my ass. <laughs> All her no hunting signs that she never did put up this year. Because she was hunting. So tell your friends and neighbors to come on board. And there you go. You got the load down on how to change your top pins on a Allo Quickie 980 front end loader. We'll catch you guys next time. Talk to you later. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done.